Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to be checking out this uh, big soldering iron. This thing is huge, man. Um, there is some writing on it. Uh, I'll do some research on it. It's got a patent number. can see that or not but I'll do some research on it if I find out anything I'll put it across the screen right now but first thing we need to do is plug it in look at this old this old plug now back in the day I know these these plugs they used to have uh, uh, cardboard <laughs> and just stuck down in there um, some of them had rubber. I'm not sure what year this thing is. But we're going to go ahead and plug this in. We're going to see if this thing starts getting hot. Okay. Alright, I've got it plugged in. This thing is huge, man. It's kind of overkill for what we're going to be soldering, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, it's starting to get warm. Okay, so I'm going to set, set this up here. And stand. Let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to take this thing. It doesn't seem to be charging right. And I'm going to make a mess here. Um, so what I'm going to do... Is I need this end for her I keep calling it a lighthouse it's not a lighthouse it's a windmill so I'm gonna solder it onto this thing so that way you know it can just be on we can plug it in and it'll be on all the time but I need this end here so I'm gonna take this apart up inside here uh, I think the batteries are are probably bad in it is my guess uh, I did check them. They checked out okay. One was a little lower than the other, so it's probably a battery issue, but she really likes that light, so uh, I'm going to get it to where, you know, it won't use much because it's got LEDs in it. So, oops. So I'm going to get working for her. Because we take Bruno out several times a night, and uh, we'll sit out there with him, and I'll have a cigarette or something, and uh, you know we'll just go out and hang out with him for a little bit. He likes that, gets him out, and uh, she likes to look at her lights. So this will be this will be really nice. I'll just run a little extension cord over there, and um, so. this out of there move this over I want to keep the solar panel because it is working the solar panel is working so, if I can get it out without damaging it hmm let me see like doing this is a this is a glass solar panel so I, I don't even want to crack it because I may be able to use it for another project if I don't break it you know there we go okay seems to be okay so now what I'm gonna do is Save these screws. I'll save the solar panel. Damn it. Again, this is not 
it's not a how-to video it's just um, more like a vlog I mean I will probably put it under some how-to but I mean it's not really a how-to video so I may just be able to pull that now nah, it's probably got a knot in it so let's go ahead and take this the rest of the way off Get it out of the way. There's a lot of times they'll tie a knot in them. That way they don't don't pull through. It does have a good little switch in it. Yeah, see it's got a knot. A knot in it right there. Looks like a booger, but it's not. Alright, so. Alright. We'll just set this stuff aside for now. bin with my you know future with the future stuff okay now I need six volts and the power pack I got there it's a motor roller it says 5.9 volts on it but I checked it with my multimeter and it is putting out 6.1 volts so that'll be just perfect for what we need so let's go ahead and Get this trimmed back. Alright. There's our little wires here. Tiny wires. There's that. These are already peeled back. Now, on here... I think I've mentioned this before, there's writing on one of these, like this one here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but it does have writing on it. It does have a little plus, so this will be our positive, our positive one here. So we're going to go ahead, wire this up. Again, I don't have any shrink wrap or shrink tape or shrink tube, okay, but... Looks like it's getting hot, so that's a good thing. Oh yeah, I feel the heat. So I got my solder here. Let's go ahead and tinge this. If it's hot enough to melt this. I don't know, this is a big ass, I mean. Yeah, it's starting to, probably could be cleaned off real good too, so. Sorry, I'm in your way. Let me get that. Get the wire hot, too. I get some more on there. Let's put some more on it. <clears throat> uh -oh. 
Alright. So, it's not pretty, but darn sure ain't coming off either. Okay. And I'm going to tape these up real good. We'll take it outside and get it plugged in, see if our light comes on. It's not dark yet, but that's okay. Actually, what I like to do is I like to put these together like that. It's really the way they should be, but I don't want this like pulling apart. I mean, I know I'm going to have it taped and everything, but... That's better. This is just uh, some of the stuff. Silver bearing rosin core solder. It is for electric. Electrical stuff. right hand So that's that's pretty good so yeah it works like I said I know it's overkill for this little project but I'd test it out some way right there we go now oh, that thing's, that thing's kick ass all right let me get some tape on here get it taped up real good and then we'll take it outside okay guys this is where this plugs in at right there now let's look in one of the windows here let's see if it kicks on there it is awesome see got a piece of wire covering that light but it should be all right after dark it'll be okay all right so, there it is. So it'll stay on until she unplugs it. But, I may put it on a timer. We have a timer in there that we use for the Christmas lights. I may just do that. That way it'll come on at night, shut off in the morning. So, there you go. Uh, got another little project. It's kind of a, uh, what do you call it? Uh... Yeah, right. Kind of uh, a review video, but it's on something vintage that you don't see many of anymore. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen a lot of them. I've seen a lot of them when I was younger. Hardly ever see them now, and in this good a shape. So stay tuned for that video. That should be my next video after this one. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. The so weekend's coming up. Tomorrow's Thursday, so, you know. Happy April Fools everyone. Hope you didn't get fooled too bad. I got monkey. Um, so that was pretty cool. I didn't get it on tape, but anyway. So alright guys. Again, thanks for watching. Shea Bear the Myth, the Man the Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye bye guys. Take care.